Dear friends, welcome to day six of our retreat for married couples. Again, as always, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, today I ask you to pray for a greater awareness of praying together as a couple. In the Holy Bible, we have some beautiful examples of couples who prayed. One particularly striking scene is from the book of Tobit, chapter 8, verses 4 to 8. Let me now share that scene with you. When the girl's parents left the bedroom and closed the door behind them, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. She got up and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. He began with these words. Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praise be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam, and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support, and from these two the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen. That truly is a beautiful scene of a couple praying. It is difficult to commit to prayer, but prayer is to the soul what food is to the body. As the Catechism of the Catholic Church reminds us, nothing is equal to prayer. For what is impossible, it makes possible. What is difficult, easy. It's not that prayer is magic, but it enables us to begin to see things differently, to see beyond, beneath, and to persevere. Prayer is truly essential for, sp for psychological and emotional health, as well as for spiritual growth. You know, as a married couple, you share so many wonderful things. You share intimacy in a way that other people do not. Well, why not then share also prayer? Yes, it's an intimacy with God. But surely, as a married couple, you can share that intimacy as well. Imagine perhaps a, the two of you, before you go to bed, kneeling by the side of the bed, holding your hands and saying, Good night, Lord. Thank you for what was good today. Forgive us for what we didn't do well. Help us to grow in love. Short, simple, but it's a beautiful prayer. Today, take some time as a couple to ask yourselves, what gets in the way of our growing in prayer together? What busyness? What distractions? And then, together, find some practical ways to grow into the experience of prayer. Prayer, above all, is an experience. It's our, our being open to God so that he can touch our hearts. This week you've been reflecting on his word. Perhaps the two of you could decide to spend five or ten minutes every day or several times a week praying over a part of the scripture. Or perhaps the two of you could decide to pray a particular devotion that you love together. Or 
the Holy Rosary together, and also, if possible, with your family. It isn't important, in a sense, how you pray or what you select. What's really more important is that when you pray, you open your heart to God. Because you see, in prayer, we are in touch with the mystery of God who reveals himself to us, or oh, never completely because he's infinite, but also helps us to see at the deeper levels of our own selves. And dear friends, I'll be praying for you today that you grow into a deeper awareness of praying as a couple. Because as you do that, you will discover a new peace, deeper security, but also a growing intimacy, both with God and with each other. Yes, be like Tobias and Sarah, praying together. And pray to and our Father, Hail Mary, and glory be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.